来啦。That was the first confirmed case of animal to human avian flu in Thailand. The H5N1 virus is primarily a disease of chickens and ducks. It passes to humans only rarely, but is often deadly. The big concern is that a new strain will emerge that passes easily and directly from one person to another. If you live in a city, you probably come into contact with dozens of people a day. If one of them has a highly infectious disease, it can easily be passed on to you. With avian flu, Early detection is crucial. Regional networks like the Mekong Basin Disease Surveillance provide a hugely important service. Collaboration and sharing of information is very important in this part of the world. And we realize that no single sector can deal with the, the disease. That's why collaboration with other sectors like human health, animal health, and environmental health is very important. It's a bit like an orchestra. An orchestra has to work together to be successful. We are no different. We practice. We try to improve so we can work together more effectively. It's all about trust. The sharing of timely information saves lives, and that's what makes networks like MBDS and others so valuable. They connect professionals from neighboring countries across human, animal, and environmental sectors and it's been hugely effective. But with millions of people traversing the globe every day, it's no longer enough to have surveillance networks and cross-sector dialogue between countries. We need them across continents. So agencies take regional networks like MBDS and others and connect them on a global scale. Back in 2003, we had very little understanding of avian flu and how it affected humans. But through our experience investing in research, capacity building and partnerships, we've come a long way. Public awareness is now very high. Our people are better trained and we have greater capacity and surveillance. Together, we're enabling more trust, better coordination and greater resilience against infectious diseases. If an outbreak were to happen again in Thailand, I am confident the outcome would be significantly more favorable. We have brought all of these sectors together. We call it One Health. 